Hello and welcome to another walk with Harvey. Now today it's a bit different. It's Paddy's Day. I'm usually working on Paddy's Day, but because of coronavirus, everything's cancelled. No Paddy's Day parades, nothing to do. So we've decided to come to Slemish Mountain, which is a bit of a traditional walk in Northern Ireland to do on Paddy's Day, because apparently this is where St. Patrick was a uh, shepherd by order of a local chieftain. I can't remember the name of the chieftain. Can you, Rosie? I don't know why I'm asking Rosie. You'd think her being Irish, she'd know these things, but she doesn't. So uh, yeah, this is where St. Patrick was a shepherd. Now uh, it's very rainy and cloudy. There's still people doing the walk despite all the, uh, the coronavirus stuff. Apparently there's meant to be like um, a shuttle bus going from uh, Brashane, I think, which is one of the nearby towns where they usually have uh, celebrations every year and organized walks up to the top. But all that's canceled, but people are still coming here doing it. So we've got the protective uh, face masks just in case. But yeah, it's raining, never mind. At least I'm getting to do Slemish on St. Patrick's Day anyway. So uh, we're going to get out and see how we get on. Speak to you in a bit. No, get out the other door. A gateway to the glens, a traditional place of pilgrimage, this majestic mountain. Dominates the landscape before, it's fantastic views yeah. and it's home to some very special plant and animal communities. Right, should we go? Rosie's coughing a bit here, we're just saying I hope people realise it's asthma and <laughs> not something worse. <laughs> but, yeah, still quite a few people going up as you see. So that's the end of the uh, normal steps. Pretty much after this way you're choosing your own route up to the top. And it is a bit of a scramble. I reckon this way Rosie, what do you reckon? What's that song? Don't go chasing waterfalls. Is that the right words? <laughs> We've been overtaken a few times eh? Like, but young girl whippersnappers running up in their uh, O'Neill tops and uh, what do you call them trousers? Cam cranberries, cranberries. <laughs> All the kids were born with the seas on. Canterbury. Canterbury's. We're happy for, are we? No, we're nearly there, Mercy. Getting lighted! <laughs> wow. Having fun, Holly? You look a bit wet. You look a bit wet too, Harvey. <laughs> right, this is us on the top of Slamish here. Yeah. Rosie's got a coffee. <laughs> uh, 0 0.51 miles, took us 40 minutes. It says an hour up and down, but in this weather, it's been a bit longer and it's a bit tough. It is a bit tough getting up. Hopefully it's a bit easier getting down. So, uh, we got a coffee. And uh, I said to Rosie, every time she comes out and do a w walk, I'll treat her to some uh, new walking equipment to encourage her to come out more. So this has been a bit of a tough one today. But uh, 
worth doing, I think, on St. Patrick's Day because it's probably the only chance I'll get at doing it on Paddy's Day. Yeah, you're normally working. Normally working. So we're going to have a quick coffee and, and get back our down. Oh, yes, and this is our anniversary. Happy yeah. anniversary, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> what are you whinging for, Harvey? Is there another dog here? Right, I'm, I'm worried about this camera getting wet, so I'm going to turn it off for a bit. Now apparently this is an easier descent off the top, some of it's a bit craggy on the way down so we've met a few people who apparently have been told that this, this route here is the easiest way down, we'll wait, we'll see. Yeah so the bit we came down definitely an easier way, an easier descent off the top, even though it is very boggy and marshy, it's definitely not as uh, sheer as the other side, we're glad we found this way. I'm glad we had those people to tell us which way it was. <laughs> there we go, that's the difficult bit done. That was so much easier descent. I think it'd still be tricky enough going up that way. Yes. But the, yeah, the, uh, the other side's an interesting uh, route up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the type of thing. So I, I enjoy the scrambling part of walking the most and I think Rosie, that's the bit she likes the least. But you don't, you don't like descending sometimes either, do you? It's not, it's not scrambling, it's the fear of slipping. Like, yeah. I mean, I think it's a bit got into my body. <coughs> I've become... Probably a little bit more fearful of stuff. You gotta face your fears and do it anyway, Rosie. Well, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, so just trying to think if anybody else is doing this walk. Once you're coming off the peak and you're heading uh, south, I think, then go over two saddles and then there's a path down to your left and that's the easiest route down. If that's north, I'll correct myself later, <laughs> but I think it was south. <laughs> Yeah, so I was just chatting to Rosie and I said, I've tried to get her into walking, but we've started right in the middle of winter, <laughs> which is <laughs> probably not the best time for me to encourage her in this pursuit. But she's done great, even though it's uh, been, you know, some of the walks we've done have been in really snowy, wet, boggy conditions. So hopefully by the time we get to some nicer weather, she'll, she'll definitely appreciate the, uh, the drier walks a lot more. Oops, dropped my glove. No, Rosie had, um, I don't know if we, uh, the camera picked that up, but Rosie was just saying one of her friends uh, did used to take her up, but this was about eight or nine years ago. And uh, so she had done about three or four of the, the peaks in the morns. And I think you did the brandy pad, you said once, didn't you? Yeah. But, yeah. but they uh, left the kit, they parked one car at one end, one at the other, and left the car keys for the second car in, in the other car. So at, uh, what did you do? How did you get back? Yeah, so they had to walk pretty much half the way back along the road to get to the other car park so they could get the keys for the, the car that they left in chassis. We did eventually um, get a lift from a very kind gentleman. This bit looks a bit tricky, Holly. I'm guessing you'd rather go over that bit than go over the stile. Can you make that, Holly? Yeah, so just take time. Use your hands. Rosie's trying to spare us. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look at this now, Holly. There's a style. Holly's going, oh no, I hate styles. Why do you make me go styles? What was it? What are you doing? It's an Holly. <laughs> right, a bit of a challenge. We're gonna get Holly over this here. She hates styles. So, uh, I suppose the important thing is to get the camera set up so you can for comedy japes. Yeah, yes. maybe. Oh my god. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Oh, oh That's us back at the car now, mm -hmm. and uh, there's chucking it down. It was raining bad enough when we started, but uh, the end absolutely soaked through. Rosie was cleverer than me, she actually brought a change of clothes, so she's nice and dry now. And my feet, tries, everything's soaking. But yeah, the whole walk, I just checked on my watch, was 1.75 miles. I suppose it all depends on what way you come off the top of the mountain to get back round. But for us, yeah, it was 1.7 and we're out for one hour, 45 minutes. So the times will absolutely vary on this one, depending on what way you go up and what way you come down and how fit you are. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this St. Patrick's Day walk with Harvey and Holly and Rosie. And uh, hopefully see you next time. See ya. <laughs>